Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to show that f o g of x is equal to x and g o f of x is also equal to x. Let's go ahead and go through it. So solution. Let's start with this one here. So we start by writing it down. So f o g of x. So what does this mean? This is the same thing as f of g of x. And it's really easy to memorize because it's just written in the way you see it. So it's fg, fg, it's just in the same order. So now you replace the inside piece. So this g of x here is actually over here. It's this function. So let's go ahead and replace that. So this is f of g of x, which we know is x plus 3, all divided by 4. So that's our inside function g of x. Again, you just replace it. And so now it's telling us to evaluate f at this expression. So f of x is 4x minus 3. So basically we just replace the x with this huge thing here. So this is 4, that's from the f, and then it's x, but it's not x, it's this whole thing. So this whole thing here is like our x. So x plus 3 over 4, that's our x. And then we still have the minus 3, so minus 3. You see it's 4 blah minus 3, I think of it as blah. So now the 4s cancel, so we have x plus 3 minus 3. And this is really cool because now the 3s will cancel, beautiful, and it's equal to x. I love these problems because you know when you did it right because you got x, so it's, it's really nice. Let's go ahead and do the other one. So we're going to do g o f of x. So again, it's really easy to memorize. It's just the way it's written. So it's g of f of x, just left to right, just like it's written. And we'll start by replacing um, the inside piece, just like before. So our inside piece is f of x, which is 4x minus 3. So this is g of 4x minus 3. And now we look at g. Let me scroll up so we can see it better. g of x is x plus 3 over 4. So this whole thing here, this 4x minus 3, this is our x, okay? So this is equal to x plus 3, but this is our x, so it's 4x minus 3. I'm going to put it in parentheses. That's our x plus 3 over 4. You see how that works? That, that whole piece there, that 4x minus 3 is our x. It's blah plus 3 over 4, blah plus 3 over 4. The 3's cancel, and so we're left with 4x over 4. The 4's cancel, and we get x. And so we've completed the problem. I hope this video has been helpful.